Happy Friday, family. Very, very excited and passionate to be sharing this amazing evening with each and every one of you guys. You guys know that every single Friday evening, we get together and we have a great, great Friday night leadership. Uh, and these Friday night leaderships are actually designed to help each and every one of us go from where we are to where we truly want to be. Uh, my name is AJ Jordan, and um, I've literally been involved in the industry of network marketing for quite some time. And I can definitely tell each and every one of you guys on the call that um, like, like over, my, over my last 11 years time, I've never, ever missed a Friday night leadership. Now, I've always been told that these Friday night leaderships will actually help you uh, develop your, 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 your mental, develop the physical, and also uh, develop what you get ready to do out in the marketplace. You know, so I never really wanted to miss them. And as a matter of fact, my mentor used to always tell me, you never want to trust your memory. You always want to make sure that you have a journal uh, specifically available and handy. You always want to write down all the information uh, as much as possible because here's the thing. Uh, you never can trust your memory. So when you're out in the marketplace and you're launching a market, the number one thing you want to be able to refer to is your journal because that is where you're going to be able to extract all the knowledge. You're never going to be able to miss a moment either. The more moments you have in life, you want to make sure that you capture those moments, you write them down, and you never trust your memory so you can be able to, uh, you know, use those, you know, use the knowledge, use the tools, use the system to really help you build your mindset and develop your business. Um, I, I love Friday Night Leadership because I know this is where a lot of individuals, they get the information, they take, they take hold of it, then they start to actually uh, present it out in the day-to-day -day methods of operation. So what I want each and every one of you guys to do right now, this very moment, is if you are currently driving, if you're busy, if you're, you know, if you're, if you're handling the kids, you know, this is a moment of time where you want to say to yourself, hey, self, you know, I want to make sure that I'm fully aware uh, that I'm, I'm, I'm watching a Friday night leadership right now, and, I, and I'm getting ready to change my future. Because here's the thing, right now we know that it's, it's evening time. We're at home, right? We're actually on our cell phones because that's how we build our businesses, right? Through our cell phones, right? And what we're doing is we're, we're getting ready to capture these moments. We're getting ready to capture the knowledge so we can be able to obviously uh, build a future, change our future, and change our world. And obviously tonight we're going to talk about team building. And the reason why we're going to talk about team building is simply because there's a lot of great individuals that really want to build a substantial team. They really want to build a great income. But here's the number one thing my mentor always told me. The number one thing you want to do is you want to find out a way. You want to find a way to service the many because the service of many leads to greatness. And so here's what I mean. When you're building a team, this all you got to have a servanthood. You have, to have, you have to have a servanthood, you know, servant leadership mentality. So the information that we're going to go over here this evening is going to show you not how to just develop your team, but also to develop your mentality so you can become that person of value in the marketplace. So we're going to move forward today. We're going to talk about some team building. So what I get excited about the most, ladies and gentlemen, when we talk about team building, is understanding the team building mindset. You got to look at every single brand new uh, secret agent as if they have a help me written on their forehead. You know what, exactly what it was like when you got started here, you know, in, you know, in your secret business. You know exactly what it was like. You were, you were kind of, you were, you were a little skeptical, you were a little bit negative, but in the back of your mind, you were extremely hopeful. And if you're anything like me, I was hopeful. You know, I was hopeful because I knew that I needed, you know, my network marketing business to work. And you know what? I, I wanted to prove everybody wrong around me. So if I, if I knew how I felt, I know how every brand new individual, every brand new agent feels when they get started, you know, in, in, in their secret business. So the number one thing you want to look at them is if they have a help me on, written on their forehead. So you want to be the, you want to make sure that you do all the things. You know, this is the, this is the key to success right here in network marketing. All the things that your upline did not do for you, you make sure that you do it for your newest representative so they don't feel like how you felt where you have to find a way to just make it happen. You want to make sure that you hand everybody the keys to success. And this is the number one thing right here. You want to look at them as if they have a help me on their forehead. Now, here's something else, a part of the team building mindset that we got to, that we got to make sure. You want to be 100% confident. Everyone will be afraid not to join you if they know that you, do, that you, if they know, that you know where you're going. Everyone will be too afraid not to get, get involved with you. You see, here's the thing. When, when my wife and I, when we first got started, you know, in secret, we looked around and, you know, you know people were in, they were in fear. They were, they were in fear. They said, you know, we know that if we don't lock arms with the, with the core global system, they know if we don't lock arms with Mr. Timmer, if we don't lock arms with, you know, the Jay Spencer, the Vivian Carrascos, the Claudia Benitez, we know if we don't lock arms with these individuals, then you know what, then, then we're not going to make it in the industry. 
and you want to be 100% confident when you're out there building your business. This is something that a lot of people, they walk around a little timid, a little scared with their tails tucked and they're sitting in a corner with a blanket over them and they just, they're just crying out for safety. Let me share something with you guys, ladies and gentlemen. The people that are not confident in this world, that's because they are holding on to, they're holding on to what comes with the body and that means being average. In order for you to not hold on to that, ladies and gentlemen, you gotta understand that it's not what you do in your nine to five that's gonna help you build your lifestyle but it's what you do from your five to nine that's gonna help you build that confidence and build the character. And what is character? It's what you do when people aren't looking that shows your confidence, that shows that you're really gonna make it happen. And once you understand that, ladies and gentlemen, you're gonna find out that the value is truly gonna be added out in the marketplace. Now, as we move forward, we definitely wanna talk a little bit more. You, you, you know, we gotta learn, we definitely have to learn how to next people. We have to learn how to next people, ladies and gentlemen. And here's the most important thing. We gotta learn how to next people. Let me tell you why, because some will, some won't, some wait, so what, who's next? Some will, some won't, some wait, so what? Someone's waiting, so who's next? We gotta, we gotta understand that, ladies and gentlemen. We cannot sit here and beg people to get involved in our opportunity. That, that's not gonna work. You can't, you can't beg someone, you can't beg someone, okay, to, have a, to, for, to, to, to create a phenomenal lifestyle. That's not something that we do here, ladies and gentlemen. If people don't want it, then you gotta understand how to next somebody. You gotta next somebody, and that's very, very important because there's a lot of people every single day that'll get into this convincing stage. And here's what my mentor told me. He says, listen, he says, you don't beg average people, you don't beg average people to become phenomenal. That's not what you wanna do, ladies and gentlemen. So that's not here, that's not what we do here within the core global system nor within secret. But what we do is we add a lot of value in the marketplace so people can do what? So they can lock arms with us and they can help us champion a great cause. But as we move forward, we're gonna begin to learn a little bit more as we begin to dial in. You know, this business and team building mindset is all about speed and exposure. Whoever gets the most urgency, whoever has the most urgency with everything that they do, they're the ones that actually win. Those are the individuals that actually hit superstar the fastest. It's why, is when they understand that it's all about speed and exposure. The person with the most urgency always win, and wins. I mean, if we, if we were going through a deck of cards, and I know this, this is a very, 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 Old example, you know, for, for, for network marketers or old example just in business, if, you're, if you knew that a deck of cards had four aces and you're, uh, the objective for the game that we're going to play is find four aces as quick as you can, I don't think that you would want to sit there, go through the deck of cards and, and just say, hey, oh my gosh, this one's a 10. Oh my gosh, this one's a two. Oh my gosh, this one's a, this one's a, you know, a five. You want to get to the aces as fast as possible and you want to be fanning through those bad boys. If you take a look at this, the perfect example is Christmas. When you, when you wake up on Christmas morning, you, you know what you want to do? You want to open up all your gifts as fast as you can. And this is what you want to do in the business. You want to expose as many people to the secret opportunity as fast as you can. Because here's the thing. You don't want to be the person, okay, that, 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 that forgets to reach out to a friend or a family relative, okay? And, and you, you put yourself in a position where somebody else recruits your friend or your family member into the business because you took too long. The person with the most urgency always wins, ladies and gentlemen. And as we move forward here, excuse me, perfect, as we move forward, going back the other way, technical difficulties there, but here's the thing that I understand, now is the time, if you don't recruit your warm market like we just said, somebody else will. And this is what I want everybody to understand, okay, is that the secret to success is talk to more people. You can't say the right things to the wrong person, and you can't say the wrong things to the right person. This is something that I've always found out because the people who are actually going to do it, guess what? They're going to do it. And the people that are not going to do it, it doesn't matter what you say, guess what? They're not going to do it. So that's something that we always got to understand. And we got to understand that when we're out in the marketplace, we got to understand that ignorance on fire always beats intelligence on ice. People will be more impressed with your height of enthusiasm rather than, your, than the depth of your, of your knowledge, okay? So you're going to scare one out of 10 people by literally being, you know, by being too excited. Now, if you're, you know, if you're not excited, you're going to scare nine out of 10 people, okay? So you don't want to put yourself in a, into a position where people feel that you're not excited. You know, everywhere I go, somebody says, hey, how are you doing? I say, I'm always living the dream. I'm living the dream. And they say, well, how are you living the dream? then I make sure that I let them know how we're living the dream, especially with this amazing secret opportunity. I might even buff their nails on the spot. You gotta get aggressive with your business. You gotta get aggressive with your mindset. You just gotta know that if you wanna really, really, really build a solid team, 
You got to be fired up. I never, you know, you know, I was, I was actually out in Arizona with Miss, with Miss Betty Perez and, 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 and uh, Mr. Isaac Ben Shabbat, and I met up with some of the other secret leaders, you know, and, and on, you know, on the other organizations and the other teams that are cross lines to us, okay? And we were having a good conversation, and I guess they went back to Miss Betty Perez, and Miss Betty says, you know what's, you know what's so crazy, Agent? She says, you know, you're just as fired up as when you started, right? And, and you know, you're, you're as fired up right now, and, you know, just as when you started. And that's how you gotta be. It doesn't matter how much money you make in this industry. It doesn't matter how long you've been in this industry. You've always gotta remain excited. You've always gotta be excited. Hear me clear, you always have, you, you always have gotta be excited. And if you're not excited, guess what's gonna happen? People are gonna feel it. And they're not gonna be attracted to you. You're gonna have that commission breath, as Mr. Jake Spencer told me a couple of days ago. You don't wanna have commission breath, okay? Let's talk about this some more, team building. The only difference between the number one, uh, the, the number one money income earner and the, and the number one is, is that he's, he's ranked more superstars. That's it. The, the difference between you and the number one income earner is that he's actually ranked more superstars than any other individual out there in the business. So you want to get in the habit of always producing more superstars. How do you want to, how do you go diamond? You got to go diamond by doing what? By hitting the position of what? Superstar. That's the starting point of all achievement in this business. People are always asking questions. Well, you know, how do you get to platinum? You go, you get to platinum by hitting superstar. Well, how do you, how, you know, how do I earn this bonus? You, you earn all bonuses by hitting superstar. That's the starting point of all achievement. There's really nothing, there's nothing technical about this business, but you just got to follow it. Network marketing is simple. Network marketing is definitely simple. Superstar is a great place to visit, but it's not a great place to live. You want to keep you and your team rank advancing all the time. You always want to keep everybody earning the next rank. Asia is okay. But nobody's, nobody's, you know, you know, be, becoming an agent is fine. Becoming a star is great. Becoming a superstar, now you're understanding the value of it. But once you start to understand that this is a superstar popping factory, okay, you want to make sure that you're out there popping as many superstars as possible, especially on your way to bronze. And then when you get to Royale, here's the key. Here's, here, when you get to Royale, this is where superstar gets fun because every single time, and, you know, as a Royale, this is where the business gets really fun. Every single time you produce a brand new superstar, there's a $100 bonus. Every time you produce a brand new superstar, Seeker pays out a $100 bonus, okay? There's a $100 override. Not to mention, for you, the individual who has not hit superstar just yet, you have literally, you have a $200 bonus on the table, okay, for hitting the position of superstar, and you also get a $50 bonus. Why? You get a $50 bonus twice over for personally sponsoring your two new business partners with their wild starter packs. That's, you know, to me, that's amazing because when I first got involved, it took me well over six months to even earn income, you know, you know in, my, in, in, in my business. When I first got involved in the industry, it took me well over six months to earn my first check. But you know what? I was fired up about hitting that first position because I knew that that was the starting point of all achievement in the industry of network marketing. So my question to you right now is if you're thinking about all these other positions, that's great. Being a diamond is great, but starting off right at the position of superstar, that's where you're gonna understand the value of the business. And as we move forward, we're gonna learn a little bit more. What makes the difference? What makes the difference for all of us right now? What makes the difference right now here, here in, in, in the secret community? The company is the same for everyone. The company is the same for everyone. The industry is the same for everyone. The training, guess what? Everybody on here is getting the exact same training, okay? The products are literally the same for everyone, but what's the only variable? The only variable is you right now, ladies and gentlemen. Everything else is literally the same. People are saying, hey, you know what? Well, you know, Vivian Carrasco, she was able to rank up faster than me because she's a good speaker. Being a good speaker doesn't make you a good producer. You know, more action obviously leads to more results. But a lot of people get caught up in, you know what, I'm going to make everything look pretty at this wild party. Yes, making everything looks pretty at, look pretty at the wild party is good, but what about inviting the guests? You see, everything is literally the same within secret, but certain people are getting the results out of the business because they're putting in what? The right activity. Don't mistake movement for achievement is what my mentor once shared with me. So we don't want to get wrapped up in understanding, hey, you know, what if we just package the product, right? It's not about packaging products. It's about getting the products on people's skin, letting them see the value, and guess what? Understanding that we got to get the superstar as soon as possible. That's how we're going to get to diamond. That's how we're going to get there, okay? And, and like I said, the only variable is you, ladies and gentlemen. But as we move forward right here, it's all about the leadership house. The leadership house, in my personal opinion, is what I learned from John C. Maxwell's 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership. And why do I love this the most? Because this talks about in the leadership house how, you know, everything is, the foundation of your house is character. 
is what you do when people aren't looking. The foundation of your, of, of your business is character. It's what, people, what you're doing when people are not looking, ladies and gentlemen. Then the next thing that I'm saying, that they, then what else? The structure of everything is the skill. See, your, your character is what you do when people are, are looking, right? But what is the skill? It's how you're working. It's how you're implementing certain scripts. How you're making sure that you're inviting the proper way. You're, how you're making sure that you're doing confirmation calls and you're not just announcing people to come you know, to, 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 to a webinar online. Ladies and gentlemen, this is simple. Everything is right at the tip of our fingertips. And we got to understand that, you know, we got to be leaders. We got to do, do the right things when people aren't standing over our heads. We don't want jobs. We're, we've already gotten rid of that. Everything, as far as job goes, is going to become, you know, artificial intelligence here in the next 10 to 15 years. So we're not here to get a job. We're here to, we're here to build a business. We're here to be leaders. And guess what leaders need to do? They need to lead by example. And guess what? Then we're going to judge by results. But I want each and every one of you guys to know this. There's character-driven leaders versus emotionally driven leaders, okay? And I want to let you guys know the difference right now. You know, there's character-driven people out there, okay? They do the right thing first, and then they want to feel good, okay? Versus the emotionally driven people that go out there and say, you know what, I need to feel good, then I'm going to make it happen. You know what, I just got to make sure that I got my list. My list has to be a certain size before I make calls. No, that's not what it's about. It's about doing the right thing first, then you feel good. It's about doing the activity first, then you get the results. You can't get the results before the activity. We can't get those things, we can't get them confused, right? You gotta understand that we gotta be, well, you know, character-driven people, they are commitment-driven. They're committed, they're commitment-driven. They're committed to a cause, they're committed to a person. They're your confidants out there in the marketplace. Listen, you need me to show up to an event, I'll be there, I'll be there an hour early. Like a young lady out in, out in, the, uh, out in the El Paso marketplace, Miss Roberta Medina. Every single time we ask her to do something, she does it. Like Mr. Raul, every single time we ask her to support the team, he does it. Like Mr. Eric Sanchez and, 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 and Ms. Uh, Ms. And Ms. Mari. Every single time, you know, the, the, every, all the leaders are coming together because they're committed, okay? Versus emotionally driven people. It's all about convenience. Well, I don't get off of work in time. I don't get off of work in time. It's not about, it's not about being convenience driven, ladies and gentlemen. It's about making it happen no matter what. No matter what happens, it's about getting, being committed to your dreams and goals no matter how you feel. It's not about it, life. Life is not convenient. Life is not convenient. Life is not an Uber. Life is not an Uber. You got to get in your vehicle, whatever vehicle fits you, and you got to drive it, okay? Character-driven people what? Make principle-based decisions. They do things based off principles, off principles, okay? You know, you know what emotionally driven people do? They make popular-based decisions. They do things because it's popular, because everybody else is doing You know what everybody else is? You know, since I got a group of friends that aren't following the system, that aren't following the scripts, you know, I'm going I'm to try it their way because it just sounds better. It's not about how it sounds. It's about what works. You want to make sure that you always keep the principles in line with your values and obviously building your business, okay? Character-driven people, they, their actions control their attitude versus emotionally driven people, their attitudes control their actions. You can't be like that. Character-driven people, what? They believe it, then they see it. Versus emotionally driven people, what? They see it, then they believe it. Let me ask you a question. Which one are you? Obviously, right now, you know that you're, you're the individual that obviously you believe it first, and then you see it. You believe it first, and then you see it. Okay, you're not emotional. That's why you're here on this. That's why you're here on this on this on this on this call right now. On this Friday night leadership. You know, character driven people they create momentum. They they create the moment. They say, hey, you know what? There's not a leader in this market. I'm gonna be that. I'm gonna be that woman. I'm gonna be that guy. I'm gonna be that person that's gonna step up here in the community. I'm gonna make it happen no matter what. I'm listen. Listen. I don't like my upline. I'm gonna be my upline. I'm not gonna wait for anybody to make any calls for me. You know, I'm not gonna wait for momentum like emotionally driven people do. Emotionally driven people, they wait for them. They wait for somebody to make calls for them. They wait for somebody to, to, to answer a question. They don't call customer service and figure it out themselves because they're emotional, right? Character driven people, what do they do? They ask, what are my responsibilities? Emotionally driven people, what do they do? They ask, what are my rights? They ask, what are my rights? Are you kidding me? The only right you have is to, is to figure out what your responsibilities are, period. The only rights you have are to make it happen, period, okay? Character-driven people are what? They continue when problems arise. They don't even see the problems. You give a, you give a, you give a character, building person, character building person a problem, what do you think he's going to say? Oh, this is no problem, right? They're just going to make it happen. They're miracle workers, right? 
Emotionally driven people, what do they do? They quit when problems arise. They say, oh my gosh, I don't know. I don't know. I can't put the app in the back office. I can't, it's, it, you know, it's not, it's not placing my person properly. I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if this is the right vehicle for me. You know what? You gotta, you gotta, you gotta put the scared away. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, when problems happen, you know what? You gotta become a problem solver. I know the problem solvers in the world, guess what they do? They solve problems and they see the, the results after they solve the problems, they're, they're happy about it. They're always happy about the results. If you're down 20 points in life, guess what you gotta do? You gotta come back and you gotta fight life. You cannot let fight, life fight you. Character driven people, they're steady, right? Emotionally driven people, they're always moody, okay? Character driven people, they're all leaders, right? Versus, versus emotionally driven people, they're what? They're all followers, ladies and gentlemen. And none of us right here on this call right now, none of us are followers right now. But I want you guys to understand Mother Teresa. We've all got to have a mindset like this young lady right here. I love this quote. I love this quote the most, and I love this poem because this really sums up, you know, you know, why I work so hard. This really sums up why I do exactly what I do. This really sums up why the core global system is so amazing and all the leadership here is great. This is because why? People are often unreasonable, irrational, and self-centered. You gotta forgive them anyways. If, if, if you are kind, people may accuse you of selfish or ulterior motives. What do you gotta do? You gotta be kind anyways. Nobody's not gonna be here just to like you, right? If you're successful, you will win some unfaithful friends and some genuine enemies. What are you supposed to do? You gotta succeed anyways. You can't wait for people to like you to make it happen. You got a family. You got goals. You got dreams. You got a why. You gotta, you gotta succeed anyways. If you're honest and sincere, people may deceive you. Be honest and sincere anyways. Be honest and frank anyways. You may, what you may spend years creating, others will destroy overnight. You gotta build it anyways. It doesn't matter. Listen, if you, you, you might lose momentum, but you know how to get it the first time, so you know how to get it back. My mentor used to always tell me, you know, you want to become a millionaire, not for the money, but for what it will make of you to achieve it, right? So all the lessons you're going to learn is going to help you really make it happen. you got to create it anyways. If you find serenity and happiness, some may be jealous. Be happy anyways. The good you do today will often be forgotten tomorrow. What do you got to do? You got to do good anyways. You got to give the world the best you've got. It'll, it'll never be enough. You got to give your best anyways. Always give your best, right? In the final analysis, it was never between, it, 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 it's between you and God. It was never between you and them anyways. I love this information. I love this poem because it really set my mindset up to understand that, listen, I don't care what anybody says. I'm going to the top, but I'm going to make it happen. I'm going to go out there. And I'm going to become E4 qualified. I'm going to go out there. and I'm going to become superstar qualified right off, right off the bat within my first 24 to 48 hours of time. I'm going to get all my bonuses on the table. Why? Because they're there. Because they're there. A million percent, right? Leaders, man, let's talk about this because we're all leaders here. We all want to build the most amount of superstars. What is leaders, man, right? Leaders who develop leaders multiply in their growth. Then they develop leader after leader after leader. But a leader who develops followers, they add one at a time. Leaders who develop followers, they add one at a time. Which one are you? Let's talk about this a little bit more. Look at this diagram. Leaders who develop leaders, they multiply their growth. They go from leader to leader to leader to leader to leader. Then they have some followers that eventually turn into leaders, ladies and gentlemen. We got to understand that if we're going to be building a business, we got to be out there growing people, developing leaders. And we got to multiply their growth by showing them the results and showing them how to really follow the system. I can't wait for some of these amazing things that we have going on. Everybody's going to become a, a, a leader. Everybody's going to become a leader in the core global system, in the core global community. There are people here right now that are, gonna, that are willing to hold your hand and walk you through the most amazing processes, okay, to becoming financially independent, to becoming financially free. You can't tell me right now that you're not willing to follow someone that's willing to lead you into an area where you've never been, and that's freedom. Everybody here on this call right now wants freedom. Everybody on this call wants to be set free from their jobs, set free from fighting traffic every day. Set free from what? Sending their kids to school and they want to homeschool their kids. This is your shot. This is your chance, right? We got to understand this stuff, ladies and gentlemen. We got to develop leaders. Developing leaders is so important. Why? Because it's leaders, it's, it's addition versus multiplication, okay? Addition, leaders who develop followers, what do they do? They need to be needed. Multiplication, what is that? Leaders who develop leaders, what do they need to do? They need to be succeeded. Every leader that I know, like a Jay Smith, he doesn't want to be the man all the time. He doesn't even want to be the man. He wants to produce. He wants to be the king maker. Mr. Tim Hur, he wants to be the king maker. Okay? Miss Sarah, she wants to be the, she wants to be the queen maker or the king maker. Whatever she, 
Whatever you want to do, you can do it. But you got to understand that you want to be succeeded, ladies and gentlemen. Addition, leaders addition says what? Leaders who develop followers do what? They focus on weaknesses, what they're not good at. Versus leaders who develop leaders, what they do? They focus on strengths. Leaders who develop followers, what do they do? They develop the bottom 20%. Versus the leaders who develop leaders, what do they do? They develop the top 20%. It's all about developing the people all the way from the top and then, and then letting it spread out. You want to multiply yourself by 10, by 20, by 100, right? Leaders that develop followers, what do they do? They treat people the same for fairness. And leaders that develop leaders, what do they do? They treat leaders as individuals for impact. See, we're out here to make an impact, ladies and gentlemen. We're not out here to just be regular. We're, that's not why we're, we're, not, we're not, life's not fair. Listen, if life was fair, then guess what? No one would have debt. Everybody would have equal amounts of money, but that's not how it works. You gotta make an impact in this life, ladies and gentlemen, okay? Leaders who develop uh, followers, what do they do? They hoard power. Leaders who develop leaders, what do they do? They give power away on a consistent basis, right? Leaders who develop followers, what do they do? They spend time with others versus the leaders who develop leaders, they invest time in others. Mr. Tim Hur, he's always investing time in every single marketplace. Mr. Ben Shabbat, Ms. Betty Perez, they're doing whatever it takes to make sure that everybody within the community is all winning, ladies and gentlemen. This is important, this is important information. People want to know how you do you get, listen, if you want to, if you really want to multiply your your, your, your your efforts by 20, by 10, by 100, guess what you gotta do? You gotta develop more superstars, right? Multiply the superstar ratio in your business, and guess what's gonna happen? You're gonna win. Leaders who develop leaders grow by addition. Leaders who develop uh, leaders who develop uh, leaders, what do they do? They, they grow by multiplication, okay? Addition is what? Leaders who develop followers, they, they, make, they impact only people, the only people that they touch, right? Versus the people who, who develop leaders, what do they do? They impact people far beyond their own reach. I know that there's people in this industry, and Mr. Jake Spencer, my wife, you know, you know, Mr. Mr. Tim Hur, you know, all these great leaders in the in, in the marketplace today, Miss Vivian Crossville, that you know, the, the, they're leaders out there that are always saying, "Hey, you know what? They they inspired me. They impacted my life by what they said, by by the book that they told me to go out there and read, and the quote, you know, that that I heard them say." Everybody's always making an impact here within our community, and that's why I love it so much. Okay, so let's talk about this a little bit more. Let's talk about insecure leaders, and what do they do? What is what do insecure leaders do? Okay, here's a common trait for insecure leaders. All right, here it is, number one. They don't provide security for others. You cannot give what you do not have, okay? You, got, you can't give what you don't have. You gotta be that leader that's out there in the marketplace that's providing so much security for others. I spend so much time every single day. All the leaders spend so much time making sure that everybody is being fed. And for, for a person to be an effective leader, that you know, you know they, they, gotta be con they gotta be the kind that, that others wanna follow. And they need to make his followers feel good about themselves. He always got to inject confidence and compliments into people. I love this information. It, 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 it's, it's so inspiring for me, right? And it should be for you as well. Now think about this. Here's a common trait for here's 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 a common trait for insecure leaders. Number two, they take more from people than they actually give. If you're ever on the Breakfast of Champions call that we do every single day, every single day at 10 a.m. Uh, Central Time, okay, you're gonna find out that one of the things that we always do, we always talk about how giving starts the receiving process. And if you're too focused on receiving, then that simply means that you haven't given enough. Insecure people are always, they're always continual, they're always on a continual quest for validation and acknowledgement. And you know why? It's because they're so insecure with themselves. They're always takers rather than givers. You wanna be the person that's always giving in the marketplace. You wanna be the person that's always stepping up to the plate and saying, hey, you know what, I'm gonna give away the bat. You take a swing at it because I know you've got this. You gotta empower people every single day, ladies and gentlemen, it's so important in this business. As we move forward, insecure leaders what? Here's, 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 common, here's common trait of insecure leaders number three. They continually limit their best people. They always limit their best people. But see, here's the thing. Insecure leaders, they always hoard, they always hoard power. They're always hoarding power. They never want anybody to present. They never want anybody to train. They never want anybody to lead. You gotta always be willing to pass up a time. I've never seen a relay race be won by one person that's running the laps. I've never seen it happen. I've never seen it happen. You gotta learn how to pass the baton. Pass the baton. Stop, we, we can't limit people. We can't limit our best people. If somebody runs faster than you, you know, inject them with confidence and confidence every single day. And watch how much they, watch how much they grow. Watch, if you tell them that they're working hard and you appreciate how hard they're working, they're gonna grow above and beyond. 
I guarantee you that. Insecure leaders what? Common trait number four, they continually limit their organization. When followers are undermined and they receive no recognition, they become discouraged and they eventually stop performing at the top of their potential. And that's when, and when that happens, the entire organization suffers, ladies and gentlemen. We cannot build an organization where we're going to suffer. We got to inject everybody with greatness. We got to inject every single person with greatness, okay? I'm so fired up right now for every single person right now that, that, that I, I know that we're understanding the value of this. We're all secure leaders. Leadership, leadership has responsibilities also, okay? But we got to understand this. You got to learn how to do exactly what you say you're going to do. You always got to do exactly what you say you're going to do. Why? Because when you do what you say you're going to do, you know, you know, you, 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 you got to do what you say you're going to do long after the mood you set it in has left you. And that's called having integrity. And this is a leadership challenge that we all have to, we all have to embark on this challenge every single day, ladies and gentlemen, because if I'm not going to believe the message, if I don't believe the, I'm not going to believe the message if I don't believe the message. You got to understand that, ladies and gentlemen. So you got to always, you got to finish what you start. You got to always be fired and you got to get aggressive. You always got to be out there in the marketplace willing to do whatever it takes to champion the best cause possible. And we got to make it happen. Right now, this is it. This is our chance and our call to action. So we got to do whatever it takes right now, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, right now, we're going to do whatever it takes. You want to make sure you take a look at our, at, at, at our, at our page, at, at our secret USA page, ladies and gentlemen. Because you never know what announcements could be on there. What announcements could be on there? Like we could be blitzing. We could be having a webinar blitz. Maybe all day Saturday. You never know, ladies and gentlemen. You want to put yourself in a position to always win. And it starts off with having the responsibilities of a leader. That's what it starts off fast, ladies and gentlemen. We got to make sure that we do whatever it takes to make it happen. And do whatever it takes to get out there in the marketplace and take somebody from darkness to light, from skeptic to faith, from not knowing to know. You've got this. We've got this. This is a team. We're here to make it happen more than ever before. And I'm so fired up for each and every one of you guys. I know Friday Night Leaderships are some of the best. This is where all the, the leaders are made here. This is where the soldiers are. All the soldiers are right here on Friday Night Leadership, and they're always fired up about making it happen. So what can I say? What can I say about this right now? Each and every one of us are going to do whatever it takes to go above and beyond right now in all of our marketplaces. We're going to do what it takes. We're going to make it happen. We're going to step up and we're going to do something great in the community. And with that being said, I'm so fired for all of you guys right now. We're going to make this amazing weekend the one of the best weekends possible, and we're going to make it happen. I'm fired up for all of you guys. God bless you guys. Let's make sure we have a great, great weekend. Let's make sure that we, we understand that pay period deadline ends 1159. Uh, on, on Sunday night, 11.59, uh, Sunday night, Pacific Standard Time. So let's make it happen more than ever before. God bless you all. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.